Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So uh, this week I have a haul video. I know you guys like a good haul video, so guess what? I'm filming one and I hope that you enjoy. So I have some makeup to show you guys and I also have some clothes. So let's start off with makeup. A, I want to say like a month ago, I was at Target with one of my friends and Target was having like clearance on a lot of their makeup products on the drugstore makeup so I'm like me and my friend went a little crazy okay don't judge us but um most of the stuff that they were having the clearance on was lip products so that's what I have to show you guys um first off I have this NYX intense butter gloss in the color Rocky Road chocolate I thought it would be like this Victoria's Secret one which I really really love a lot so I was like, okay, let me try it, let me get it. It was like, I want to say around $2.50, which is really cheap. So that's what the applicator looks like, and I'll swatch it for you guys. It's really nice and pigmented, nice and glossy, very similar to that Victoria's Secret one. But I wore this, and on my lips, it did not look this nice and pigmented. It was really patchy and it looked really, I want to say it looked bad on my lips. It was patchy and it just did not look this good and pigmented on my lips. So I might have to try it again, but um, off the bat, I'm really not enjoying this that much. I much rather reach for my Victoria's Secret one than this one. So it was like $2, so I'm not too heartbroken, but I mean... Kind of sucks that I wasted my money on it. I have two lip liners because I have no lip liners in my collection. So I have this CoverGirl one, Lip Perfection in the color Beloved 225. I thought that this would be good under my purple lipsticks and stuff because I don't have a nice purple lip liner. But this is more of a mauve pink color. I think it would still work, but... Definitely in the packaging, it made it look a bit more purple than this. But this would be nice under nude lipsticks and stuff. Even though I kind of already have a lip liner color like this. But, oh well. Kind of why I don't like drugstore makeup all that much. Because you can never swatch it. At least in the States. I know in other places, like uh, France for example, the drugstore uh, areas that they have there you can they do have testers like Sephora but here girl we don't got no testers and I wish we did because all you have is the packaging and you have swatches online to look at which I mean swatches online are really great to give you an idea but I rather see it in person you know all right next up I have this Maybelline lip liner this is just the shaping lip liner in the color 120 rich chocolate I thought that this would look really good under the uh this NYX lip gloss and also the Victoria's Secret lip gloss because it's like a brownie color because I feel like with darker colors you need lip liners so I got this for that and this one's a retractable one which I really like because girl I'm too lazy to sharpen stuff and I mean this is 2018 why are we still sharpening pencils okay so I have three lipsticks these are the last makeup items and these are all from elf now let me be real with you I don't like elf makeup I know that sounds really harsh you might be like why are you too stuck up for elf maybe I am just a little bit okay I think elf is kind of like beginners like kind of kitty makeup so I never really take it seriously and if I want cheap makeup I like wet n wild a lot better I think that they are better quality and they are around the pr uh, same price range and they have better packaging but so I picked up these lipsticks. I originally picked up ooh, I originally picked up one of the lipsticks and I kind of fell in love. So I went back to Target and I bought two more of the same uh, type. These are the Elf Matte lipsticks. I have three colors to show you guys. The packaging's kind of cute for Elf. You know, these were $3, but girl, they were on clearance for half off. They were $1.50, so I'm like a lipstick for $1.50 come on so I have the color flirty flamingo I'll swatch it for you 
It's this really pretty corally, bright coral color, great for spring, summer. And this one is kind of of a satiny, glossy finish. The other two are pretty matte. So I don't know what's up with this one, but I didn't really care because it's really pretty, really creamy on the lips. So if you're looking for an inexpensive lipstick, these are actually really nice. Next color I have is Bold Berry, and I actually am wearing this right now. I put some other stuff on top of it, but I am wearing it. That's what that looks like. A beautiful color. I think this is great for fall and spring. I really love this nice pinky berry color. I feel like, I don't know, it just makes people look really young and fresh. I just really like it a lot. I don't know why. I think it's a very cute, sexy lipstick color. So that's what I'm wearing today. And then the last one I have is Blushing Brown. And this is a kind of 90s color it's a very dark nude brown color so i'm gonna compare this elf one to the uh urban decay 1993 which i absolutely love this lipstick you can tell i've worn it sometimes they're they're pretty much dupes for each other so that's great i have two of the same color why did I even bother? They are literally dupes for each other. So if you like Urban Decay's 1993 Get Elves Blushing Brown, they are the exact same. That is it for all the makeup. Now let's move on to what I'm most excited for and that is the clothes. So first off, I have this t-shirt that was actually my mom saw through an Instagram ad and... I really wanted it and so I got it. Look, it is a Bob's Burgers shirt and I love Bob's Burgers. And they are wearing Gucci shirts and it says Gucci. Now obviously this shirt is fake because Gucci wouldn't actually make this. But I think that's why it's so funny. Like it's obviously fake and I just love Bob's Burgers. Like I just think it's so funny that they're wearing Gucci shirts. They're bougie, bougie Bob over here. And I think this was like around 20 bucks. And it's really cute. I mean, it's not like the best quality, but you know what? I'll be strutting my stuff wearing this. So there we go. I also don't really condone buying fake stuff, but that was an exception. That will probably be the only fake that I will buy. <laughs> Next, I just want to mention this t-shirt quickly and my good friend Alexis actually gave this to me. So thank you so much, Alexis. Um, this is for, this is when we went to the Lana Del Rey concert and we bought these t-shirts. Look how pretty they are. It says Lust for Life, Lana Del Rey. Look how beautiful she is. Oh, and then in the back it says her name and LA to the moon and then all her you know, the places where her concert took place. So, I just love this shirt. Uh, and it, it was 40 bucks. It was really expensive. All the other clothes that I have are from Forever 21. And I don't know if this is my Forever 21 or just Forever 21 in general. But my store is very hit or miss. Sometimes they have, like, a lot of cute things. And other times it's like I walk in there and it's like, this is a hot mess. Who is making these clothes for you? Because they are terrible. But I went and it was actually a hit. So I was like, okay, I get some new clothes for the spring and summertime. Even though I probably won't be wearing these for a long time. Because it will be cold. Probably till May. Love it. Anyway, so this first shirt I have is this really pretty off-the-shoulder cropped shirt with... The first shirt I have to show you guys is this really pretty off-the-shoulder top with really puffy sleeves. And the pattern is a white and blue pinstripe with flowers all over it. I just thought that this was really cute and really fun for spring and summer. And you guys know that I love my florals. I'm like an old lady. I just love... I love florals, okay? <laughs> this shirt is $14.90, which is actually pretty inexpensive for this really cute top. 
Next top is this really cute rainbow bright striped shirt. It has a mock neck. It's really stretchy and it's a little bit cropped at least on me so it kind of shows my belly button but with high-waisted shorts or something this shouldn't be too scandalous but it's just really pretty i loved all the fun colors and i just think it's really cute and on trend this is 10.90 which is actually really inexpensive for this really cute top and the fabric feels really nice and soft so that was a nice deal second to last thing is this beautiful this has to be like I don't know, my favorite thing that I got, and I can't really show you it. That's what it looks like, but I'll be trying it on for you guys. Um, but it's just a beautiful jumpsuit, and the pattern with the colors is just gorgeous. It's kind of like a triangular striped pattern. It's absolutely beautiful, and it has yellow and pink and blue and white, and I really like how kind of flowy it is and at the bottom it has little cutouts so your kind of calves show when you're walking I just think that adds like a nice effect to it and I thought the colors and the pattern was just very kind of late 60s mod early 70s and if I could time travel I'm stuck in the 70s you know my fashion sense, you guys. Last thing I have to show you guys is this beautiful pair of pants. They're black with flowers, again with the florals. You know how I roll. And they're kind of, I don't want to say bell bottom, they, but they are very flowy. They're fitted at the top by the waist and they're kind of like a above the a little bit above the belly button so they are high waisted which i like and i just think this pattern is so cute love the colors very 70s very me boho and these were 19.90 which is really inexpensive for my opinion for these really cute pants which i think would probably be around like 29 bucks but no girl 20 dollars Alright guys, I hope that you enjoyed this week's video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. Stay groovy, and I will see you next time. Bye!